Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to Double Knowledge Channel. I am Dr. Regina Mlinas, Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering Department at Sanjay Godavat University, Kolhapur, Maharashtra. Before going to this simulation of this alpha, beta to ABC conversion, I request all of you to subscribe this channel. And if you are watching in this Facebook, kindly do your uh, uh, do your preferences, whether like or dislike, based on your acceptance. Uh, let Let us go to this uh, simulation of uh, alpha, beta to the ABC. Before going to the simulation, let me recall that uh, derivation of what we have done and uh, initially in the previous lectures for non-power variant and the power invariant transformation. So then after that, we will come to know how the matrix of this uh, alpha, beta to DQ conversion will be. In the last lecture also I have told you that we we need to land this uh, alpha, beta conversion to al uh, ABC. Initially, we have convert three phase to alpha beta, then alpha beta to DQ, and we will do all the control in DQ reference frame. Then, after converting it, we should know what is the power and what is the current and what is the uh, voltage in the real time applications. That time, what we have to do all the current in this DQ reference frame, all the voltages in the DQ reference frame has to be converted into uh, our ABC reference frame. Then only we can measure and we can see our side that, okay, these are all the powers are there, everything. And uh, for remaining controls and all, it will be very good. So what we have to do, we have to convert DQ to alpha beta, then alpha beta to three-phase uh, three system. Already in the last lecture, we have learned how to convert DQ to alpha beta. In this lecture, I am going to explain how one can learn this, uh, do this simulation of uh, the ABC to uh, alpha beta to DQ reference frame. Let me share my presentation. Uh, then uh, I, I would like to explain one more small corrections what I have uh, done in the small mistakes I have done in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, what I have done uh, here I in this equations I have already taken one uh, ID uh, uh, two IQ here. It is not two IQ. One two I, one IQ is not there. We have to vanish this. It is not necessary. We have to be already IQ is added here. Unknowingly I have done. So this IQ is here, so no need to write again this IQ. Uh, in this, our previous lecture of power uh, invariant transformation, this power invariant transformation, you can use this for uh, power variant transformation, everything. For example, I am telling for power invariant transformation, where what we have to do, uh, the three phase uh, net power, three phase net power is same as uh, three phase two phase net power accordingly we have uh, calculated this conversion matrix and we have found out this uh, equation as B alpha beta. Now, for example, if the voltage is concerned, vol voltage equal to uh, that number of turns in this alpha beta naught divided by number of turns in this uh, ABC sequence into, uh, into root 2 by 3. It means we have done this way. Uh, already we have derived in this previous equation. Let me take directly from this equation instead of extending the derivations. So V alpha beta naught equal to 2 by 3 into square root of 3 by 2 into M into V uh, ABC. So voltage variables in this ABC sequence and voltage variables in the alpha beta sequence. So from this we can write the alpha beta naught equal to this root 2, 2 will be cancelled root 2 and this 3 will be root 3. So that we will have root 2 by 3 m in the V A B C. We have done this. So let me take this, uh, copy this 
equation in this next page. So we have this equation. Then what we have to do now our aim is we have to convert this already we know this alpha beta variable and we have to convert that into uh, P A B C. That means we have to be change this. Okay, fine. Uh, we have to change this to uh, V alpha beta V A B C. So for that what we have to do V A B C equal to uh, root 3 by 2 and M inverse into, uh, into V alpha beta naught. Already we know M inverse is equal to 2 by 3 into M transpose. Let me substitute here in this equation 1. So this equation 1 becomes P A B C equal to square root of 3 by 2 into 2 by 3 M uh, transpose. I am just substituting this M inverse as it is and V alpha beta naught. So now this 2 and uh, this root 2 will cancel and we will get root 2. Root 3 and 3 will be cancelled. It will be root 3. Therefore, V alpha V V A B C equal to root 2 by 3 M transpose into V alpha beta now this is equation number 2 so now we are going to do this in this MATLAB simulation so in this case we have already M matrix what is M matrix M matrix is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 into Oh, it is fine. It is uh, one by four. This is the matrix. So M transpose matrix is nothing but this column should be in the rows. All the rows should be in the column, right? So that we can have one zero one by root two, then minus one by two, root three by two, one by root two, then one by two minus root 3 by 2 then 1 by root 2 then second uh, e equation becomes we have v a b c so we can write here uh, v a b c we can write here v a v b v c equal to we have this matrix that is root 2 by 3 into 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 then 1 by root 2 then 1 by root 2 into we have B alpha V beta V naught. Then in this matrix form, I will write it, I will split it into this uh, each separate equation. Uh, split it into separate equation. So we have this um, So we have V A equal to uh, root of 2 by 3 into V alpha 1 into V alpha 0 into V beta 0 plus 1 by root 2 into V naught. Then V beta is nothing but root 2 by 3 into 
minus 1 by 2 into V alpha plus root 3 by 2 into V beta plus 1 by root 2 into V naught. Then Vc equal to root 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 into V alpha minus root 3 by 2 into V beta then 1 by root 2 into V naught. So we are going to substitute it in this so matrix and a MATLAB function block and we are going to see this waveforms. Let me open this MATLAB solution. In the previous case, what we have done, dq value, dq already have told you, assume that the current is maximum current of 5 amps. Accordingly, we have this uh, conversion using this MATLAB function block. So we have done this in this previous lecture uh, that uh, and this simulation. Uh, in this case, what we have done already, our DQ, I have converted into alpha, beta and I naught and I have explained it in this, uh, those things, how the waveforms will be and how this alpha, beta sequence will be. If suppose this ID, IQ, both are increasing, what is the value of everything I have explained. So then uh, we have, uh, finally we will come to know that, so this is the waveforms which we have got, DQ and uh, DQ con uh, conversion, then alpha beta conversion, then what we, this is the way we have uh, done this, right. Now, uh, already we have done this, so now we are going to take, this is the input of this block. What is that? I alpha, then I beta, then I naught is the another input. So this is our another one MATLAB function. Already predefined uh, models are available to convert uh, alpha dq to abc but we will not understand how the waveforms and how the things are happening so that is what we are doing this then uh, inside this matlab function block whatever we have done let me see this let me check the, I, think, I think this is visible to you so here what happened i have taken this function as input way output variable is ia ib ic and input variable is i alpha, i beta, and i naught. Whatever we have derived here, this here, here I have taken in terms of voltage, but voltage or current, whatever may be. In this model, I have chosen as current. So i a is equal to square root of 2 by 3. See the square root of 2 by 3 is there. V alpha plus 1 by root 2 V naught. So, uh, v alpha, i alpha plus 1 by root 2 is point, uh, point 0.707 into i naught. Then i b equal to square root of uh, then minus 1 by 2.5, then root 3 by 2.866, then plus 1 by root 2 0.707 into i naught. Similarly, here minus and here this minus will come. Accordingly, we have typed this all those equations in this MATLAB function. Then output I have connected separately to that uh, scope in order to understand all those things in this uh, reference frame. Uh, so let me take another one axis also so that what happened you can uh, you can understand how this uh, waveform as well. So this is already we have done. Yeah, this is already we have done. So now what is DQ, then alpha, beta, and this ABC sequence. Let me run this simulation once again. I think this axis, I have, I have not split this axis. So let me take this axis as layout of three axes. You can come to know this. Um, this is for frequency is we have given here. I already told you this frequency is 0 0.02 seconds. One cycle will complete 0 0.02 seconds. That means 1 by 0 0.02 is 50 hertz. So now uh, for if 0 0.08 means for 4 cycles. 0 0.04 cycles we are going to 
uh, land this see here now this is the input which we have given dq5 and uh, 0 then alpha beta axis current here uh, 0 to uh, now this is for alpha will start from 0 and uh, current will uh, beta will start at an angle lagging uh, lagging at an angle of 90 degree then we have the three phase output waveform of uh, with respect to this conversion of alpha beta to dq uh, sorry abc conversion so now we have one cycle then second cycle then third cycle four cycle if you want to see this in this only one cycle let me run the simulation for point or two so that we will get sometimes what happened we will not get much idea see here now alpha will start from zero and the one cycle will be over let me run for point or four so that it will be looks good to, just looking good to see so this is one cycle then second cycle then similarly uh, one cycle and second cycle dq value is the input alpha beta this is the three phase wave so with this i would like to conclude uh, today's lecture i hope you understand this similarly non power uh, power invariant power variant transformation also you can do by the conversion of 2 by 3 and accordingly you can derive it and you can use it most of the papers we can use this three phase total net power in the three phase system is equal to uh, net power in this uh, net, net power in this uh, two phase system uh, so with this i, I hope this is understandable and uh, you can you can get the idea what uh, the conversion will be uh, if you have any doubts kindly comment on it there is one uh, separate uh, whatsapp group is there it is available in this our channel uh, information session make it utilize it and uh, if you have any doubts contact me instead of asking the simulation file it will be good if you do it and if you have a doubts uh, we can we can discuss so that i will also improve and you will also improve with this i would like to conclude today's lecture wish you all the best thank you